Hey there, Dr. Ashley Oxner here again talking about the toxic truth. Um, don't forget as we go through this, the big idea, and that big idea is this, that your skin absorbs 60% of what is put on it within about 26 minutes. So very important to keep that in mind, especially when I talk about what we're going to today, which is bug spray, insect repellent. It's a pesticide, let's put it that way. So nonetheless, um, it's important to know what you put on your body and realize that in my opinion and the opinion of many on this wavelength of toxicity, of uh, that education, I mean, uh, you shouldn't put anything on your skin that you wouldn't put in your mouth, okay? So just to keep that in mind, very important to understand and I wanna show you some key facts about bug spray. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got the Cutter Backwoods. Um, this is a deep containing substance. So on the actual um, bottle, they don't have to disclose um, anything except the active ingredient. So let's go ahead and zoom right in here. Um, here's your active ingredient right here, DEET. So it's at 25%. And then the other ingredients is 75%. So they don't have to tell you what those other ones are. So I thought to myself, well, that's not fair. I want to know. I deserve to know. I demand to know. So anyway, went to the website. So here's what we've got. So I went to Cutter's website. And when you click on the um, safety data sheet right here, takes you to this page where what we've got is the safety data sheet on Cutter Backwoods Dry. So check it out. Here's the info, etc. cetera. Um, now, Here's what we want to get into that's key. So look at this. Here's the precautionary statements. This one I found very interesting. Wash hands with soap and water after handling. But what most people do is spray this stuff all over their hands, their face, their body, their child, right? And I don't see a lot of people then following up with a bath or washing their hands. So interesting that the company that makes it says that's something that you need to do. Um, as you scroll down, we've got the chemical name here, so DEET, which again, as they said on there, was 25%. Um, next is ethanol. And when we look at ethanol, it's at 23%, which by the way, ethanol um, is a probable carcinogen. Isobutane is also in there at 15%. And then you say, wait, so 25, 23, 15, that doesn't add up to 100 quite, does it? No, actually it doesn't. So what is that? 2038 plus 25. I'm not good at math. All I know is that's not 100. So as you continue down, here it is. Note, ingredients not identified are proprietary. Haha, -ha, meaning secret. We have a patent on them. You can't see them. Or they're non-hazardous. Hmm. Well, that'd be interesting. I'd like to know what proprietary chemical blends you're using in this product, but you don't tell me. So just some food for thought. So I thought, well, let's see, because, you know, DEET's got a rap that it's important to understand that bad rap. It was developed by the Army um, and then actually developed for public use afterwards. Um, found this article in the uh, Scientific American where a Duke University pharmacologist here, what he found is in studies in rats, he found that frequent and prolonged DEET exposure led to diffuse brain cell death and behavior changes and concluded that humans should stay away from products containing it. Makes perfect sense, right? So again, our three pillars of this education on toxic truth are these. It's number one, education. Obviously, the government's going to allow these things to happen. You need to take responsibility and get educated, so I'm here to help you with that. Number two, it's reduction. We're going to reduce our exposures once we're educated, right? Number three is detoxification because you cannot reduce every, you cannot eliminate all exposures. You can only reduce the ones you learn about and find out about and that you control. So after you've done that and you're constantly doing that, you still need to constantly be detoxing your body, supporting healthy levels of glutathione with things like 
uh, supplements, for instance, in acetylcysteine would be one. Our IDS uh, product we get from Systemic Formulas, which is an intracellular detox system uh, that helps boost healthy levels of glutathione. Um, you could also take certain supplements or herbs or eat them, such as cilantro, uh, chlorella. Those are known to help detoxify and uh, what we call um, pull metals from the body. So they're a chelator that's natural. So continue to, to work through this so your body's constantly detoxifying as it does encounter toxins because detox is way more important than trying to be perfect. All right, get educated, reduce what you can, detox. Hope to see you at an upcoming event. You guys have a great day. Take care.